Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to talk about journal entries. Lot of signing agents who are new are very confused about journal entries. I was too and I just want to clear this confusion. <coughs> Every state is different but most states require that you maintain a journal which is a record book of all your notarizations. Now generally speaking every notarization that you do requires a journal entry. So if two signers are signing a document you are to make two journal entries. So loan signing agents might think that if they are at one loan signing appointment they can just make two entries if there are two signers one for the husband and one for the wife and then just enter loan signing in the description of the document. But this is incorrect you cannot make just two entries in your journal which cover all the documents. So imagine you are notarizing 10 documents during the loan signing and there are two signers who are signing those 10 documents. You have to make 20 journal entries. You have to make one journal entry for every document signed by each signer. And yes, you do need to fill out all the redundant information. If you are doing general notary work, you can use the traditional journal. But if you are doing a loan signing, I would recommend you checking out this journal for loan signing agents. I personally use the journal that I created myself because I used many, many journals and I found that every journal lacked something here or something there and I was just not getting the most efficient use of my time. So these are the two journals that I use. Let me show you how it works. So if you look at the inside of this journal, you are going to see the pertinent information up top here. And then on the bottom, you can see the signer information and then the signer signs over only once. So you are only filling out this main information once. And then you don't need to write out the names of the documents because about 42 documents are listed on this journal. And all you do is check A for acknowledgement and J for jurat. If you don't know the difference between an acknowledgement and jurat, please go ahead and check out the acknowledgement versus jurat video on my channel. But think about uh, it like this. If you have the 20 notarizations that you have to enter line by line, in the traditional journal and if you're spending 30 seconds on each then you are spending at least 15 to 20 minutes of your loan signing just um, making your journal entries. Now some loan signing agents will make those journal entries ahead of time before leaving the house and then just get have them have the signers sign it at the time of the signing and some people use electronic journals. But if you are making these journals entries by hand one by one it's still 10-15 minutes of your time. But in the loan signing agent's journal, you are only entering this information one time. So that saves you a lot of time because if you just have to enter it once, it takes you about three minutes. And then as you are notarizing the documents, you're just circling or checking the A or the J. Now next, when you're doing a notarization, you are also to enter the fees in your journal. So if you are a loan signing agent, and a signing service has paid you a lump sum fee, say $150, that is not the fee that you enter in front of your, um, in your journal. You are to enter the fee that you charge for the notarization. Every state has different fees for each notarization and how to calculate notarizations. So make sure you understand how each notarization is charged in your state and calculate the accurate fee and then put that fee as your fee. Make sure you read your state's SOS, you go to the NNA website and make sure you understand the rules of what information is required for your journals in your state and make sure you follow those rules. Journal entries are very important. The main reason that we do journal entries is if we are called to court or anybody requests a copy or documentation of that certain loan signing or notarization that we have a record of it which we may be asked to produce a copy of. So make sure you make correct journal entries. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up and please follow me and also follow me on TikTok and Facebook because I do make posts on there more often.
Thank you for watching.